Hi there. I'm going to do a short video on a, a supplement called, it's called L-theanine. And it's a kind of dietary supplement uh, and it promotes mood health. And uh, I take it regularly. I take uh, two capsules in the morning which are 100 milligrams a piece and uh, two in the evening time when I go to sleep along with some melatonin. Uh, I'll give you a short uh, pharmacological uh, overview of this and uh, and what it was come from and uh, where it came from and generally uh, things like that but uh, these are 100 milligram tablets of which you can get uh, anywhere like I say it's L-theanine it's for mood health and uh, there's a hundred in this one you got these at Walmart you can also get them on Amazon in different uh, types of strengths you can also get a liquid L-theanine, which is sublingual, which you drop it under your tongue. So, uh, in 2003, the German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment objected to the addition to the isolation of theanine to beverages. For whatever reason, I don't know. The, inst the Institute stated that uh, the amount of theanine consumed by regular tea or coffee drinkers it made it virtually impossible why it was to estimate the quantity, but well, that's all confusing, isn't it? Of green tea consumed by the average Japanese tea drinker. I don't know why we're talking about all this crap, but I'm, I'm kind of reading it off of Wikipedia. Let's see. Uh, there are no studies uh, measuring the amount of theanine being extracted by typical preparation methods, therefore, blah, 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 blah. Okay. In 2006, uh, a study found no consistent statistical treatment related to the adverse effects. Uh, uh, let's see, let's blow all that up. Here's where it may get a little interesting. The combination of theanine and caffeine has been shown to promote faster simple reaction time, faster numeric working memory reaction, and the time improved sentence verification accuracy. Due to this, that's a combination that has become so popular over recent years as a nootropic supplement typically found in a form of a pill or a drink or a gum. So what they do is they, they have theanine and they have caffeine as a stimulant all in another pill called a nootropic. And uh, I have noticed that it does take the edge off of anxiety and uh, promotes general good feeling in nature. I mean, it's not a it's not a sedative. Although, uh, you can use it as a supplement, as a sedative. See, I'm yawning for some reason. But, uh, it's also reported to raise the levels of serotonin and dopamine and GABA in the memory. Uh, it's possible that it, it, it proves specific memory in learning tasks. And uh, they also found that, uh, it, was, right, it says a recent study in 2011 showed that regular black tea contains significantly more L-theanine per cup than commercially available green tea, 24 milligrams versus 8 milligrams per cup in green tea. The study demonstrates that brewing time is a major factor. In L-theanine, the extraction from tea brewing ad to additional sugar in small quantities of milk make no significant difference. So, in basic, and what it all boils down to is L-theanine helps take the edge off of stuff. If you drink a lot of coffee and if you drink this, it'll take the jitteriness away a little bit, the edge off. Plus, it also it says that it improves memory cognition. And uh, so, there you go. And give it a try and see how you like it. But L-theanine uh, is a pretty good product and uh, it's available through green tea and uh, it's natural. And I also take it with the melatonin at nighttime. So anyway, I'm going to do a deal on melatonin here. And that says sleep support and this is mood health. Anyway, so uh, that's what that's all about and then uh, on the theanine uses uh, let's see we'll find someone else here and uh, and 
overview of it is mostly people use it for anxiety and high blood pressure and uh, for and it also helps prevent Alzheimer's disease and for making cancer drugs more effective. It's also a chemical structure similar to uh, glutamate, actually occurring an amino acid in a body that helps transmit nerve impulses in the brain. Some of the effects of theanine appear to be similar to glutamate and some of the effects seem to block glutamate. Okay, in the uses, uh, anxiety suggests taking theanine at night might make people might make people feel unstressed or more tranquil. However, theanine does not seem to have an effect used by people who are actually anxious all the time. More evidence is needed to rate the effectiveness of theanine and its usages. The side effects, uh, let's see, theanine is possibly safe by mouth in short term and uh, theanine has been used one time per week for three weeks. It's not known if it's not safe, but uh, I just know that I've been taking it, and some friends of mine have been taking it regularly, and they and they like it quite a bit. So anyway, once again, uh, L-theanine, which you can get that at Walmart and Walmart, I mean uh, Amazon, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll that you'll like it. So anyway. I got more videos to come, so, and, uh, see ya. Bye. Hey, what's up?